Cebu is the leading major city in the Philippines, next to Manila. It is one of the biggest contributor to the economic growth of the country and is consistently held as one of the premier tourist destination in the world. But like any other metropolis in the Philippines, Cebu is still left behind in terms of infrastructure developments when compared to other major cities in the world like Singapore, Tokyo or London. This problem in slow infrastructure development is what the build, build, build program of President Duterte is trying to solve in the shortest possible time. Fortunately for the Cebuanos, some of the big ticket projects under the Build 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 program is going to Cebu. So, let us take a look on these projects that are coming or planned for Cebu under the Build 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 program. Are you ready? Here are the 9 exciting multi-billion projects to rise in Cebu. 1. Metro Cebu Expressway, Cebu Circumferential Road. This is one of the biggest projects for Cebu that will cost around 20 to 30 billion. The Metro Cebu Expressway will link Danao City in the north to Naga City in the south. The total length of the road is expected to be 74 kilometers. It will traverse to the cities of Danao, Mande, Cebu, Talais and Naga as well as to the municipalities of Compostela, Liloan, Consolation, and Minglanilla. The project is expected to be completed by 2022 before the term of President Duterte ends. Around 300 million was already released to acquire the road right-of-way. Some part of the expressway will be at the upland area of those mentioned cities and municipalities and may include some subway along the way. This is already an ongoing project and thus closer to becoming a reality. 2. Cebu of the Link Expressway the construction of the third bridge that will link Cebu City to Mugton Island is already in progress. The project is expected to be completed in mid-2021. Estimated cost of the project is 28 billion. Once completed, it will be operated as a toll road by Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation. Same with Metro Cebu Expressway this project is already close to becoming a reality as construction for the project has already started. Among the iconic features of Clex, which is envisioned to be among the landmarks in Cebu when finished in 2021, is a lighted cross on all four sides on top of the two 145-meter tall main pylons. The span and height of the bridge, which is at 51 meters, will allow large vessels to pass underneath and the link is expected to serve at least 50,000 vehicles daily. 3. Isla de la Victoria Isla de la Victoria, a 350,000 square meters world-class integrated development, is set to erect in the prime SRP, Cebu, Philippines which will include bars, restaurants, mall, convention center, casino, park, theater, and no less than three hotels. From the initial plan of 18 billion, URA increases its investment to 25 billion for the project the biggest project to date in the South Road properties. This is a 50-year lease of the land, Cebu City will own 10% of all profits made for the entire duration. After this, when the lease expires, the Cebu City government will own not just 10%, but everything on the property. The development's name is dedicated to a Cebu Arno, Jojo de la Victoria, who died protecting our waters from dynamite fishermen. Isla de la Victoria will put the spotlight on SRP. It will be the hub for the ferries and cruise ships that will come, and the seaplane airline that is already there. It will be the shining beacon of the Visayas. 4. Seaside Arena The Seaside Arena will have a seating capacity of 16,000, almost as large as Mall of Asia Arena in Manila. It is eyed to become the prime venue for large events such as major local and international concerts, sports events, international conventions, among others. The Seaside Arena will also feature a massive convention center, office towers, and condominiums. The SMA Yala Consortium will pour a total investment of 307.2 billion for the 26-hectare Seaside Arena, which will be constructed in SRP beside the SM Seaside Complex. 
it is expected to generate 2 million new jobs in years at full development, with target completion in 2025. 5. Emerald Bay Macton, the Las Vegas of Cebu. Sprawling on a 13.5 hectare site in Pontuangano in Macton, the Emerald Bay Macton Resort and Casino is the first large scale gaming anchored hospitality development outside the Philippines capital, Manila. Davao based businessman Dennis Yui, the president of PH Resorts Group Holdings, the gaming and tourism holding company of the Udina Group, has fast tracked the completion of its new casino resort's first phase by the end of 2021. Emerald Bay Macton will initially feature 830 all suite rooms, a penthouse, a royal suite, five ultra luxurious villas, 122 gaming tables for mass, premium mass and junkets, and 600 electronic gaming machines, among others. The development will also include themed retail outlets, an activity center and extensive food and beverage offerings, all in a beach resort setting. 6. Cordova Santoso of Cebu the municipality of Cordova in the island of Mukden is being groomed to be the Sentosa of Cebu. Sentosa is an island resort off Singapore's southern coast popularly known as the State of Fun. Just like Sentosa, Cordova will be positioned as the crown jewel of tourism and business in Metro Cebu. The 1,500 hectare reclamation in Cordova will be developed into an integrated world-class lifestyle destination featuring a cruise terminal, marina, beach, eco-parks, golf course, churches, retail centers, civic centers, cultural centers, and promenades with inland transportation consisting of buses and a train with a railroad. Targeted to be completed by 2028. This multi-billion project will compose four artificially made islands. 7. Ming Mori Business Park in Minglanilla. Home of the first world-class theme park in Cebu, the town of Minglanilla in southern Cebu has attracted a major investor to construct a 6 billion reclamation project envisioned to modernize the landscape of Minglanilla. On July 22, 2020, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources DNR, has issued an Environmental Compliance Certificate to the 100 hectare Ming Mori Techno Business Park in Cebu. This world-class estate which envisions to provide 75,000 jobs is a joint venture between the local government of Minglanilla and private consortium partners Ming Mori Development Corp an affiliate of publicly listed CLI. 8. Mandani Bay Mandani Bay is a 130 billion waterfront expansion along Mukton Channel in Manday City and stretches a gross land area of 20 hectares. It is designed to transform Cebu into a worldly acclaimed lifestyle destination and to serve as a focal landmark in the area. This master-planned property will have 21 towers that will include residential condominiums, office towers, retail areas, a hotel and condo hotel, and expansive lifestyle spaces. The project is subdivided into eight blocks, phases and is expected to add 10,000 units to Cebu's condominium inventory upon completion in 10 years from the initial 12 to 15 year timeline. Its first phase was launched May 2016. 9. 4th Cebu Mukton Bridge The 4th Cebu Mukton Bridge is officially happening as Philippines and Japan formalized the loan agreements amounting to a total of 154.1 billion yen for the 4th Cebu Mukton Bridge and the Davao City Bypass Construction Project. Japanese Ambassador Hanida Koji together with Foreign Affairs Secretary Todoro Loxin Jr. signed the cooperation last June 8, 2020. Still a part of the Build 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 program of the Duterte administration, the fourth bridge has 119.2 billion yen of the loan set aside for it with Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, as its lead agency.